Hmm. All right, welcome. So, uh, welcome everyone to my legend, uh, the Legend of Dragoon playthrough. So, sorry, I'm shifting my seat here. <clears throat> so, my name is Arali, and uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I usually do Guild Wars 2 stuff, uh, videos and stuff, but I do have playthroughs that I do, and this is going to be the one, the first one of the year. Uh, I've talked about this for a long time now. This was a request early on when I first started my channel. Someone had uh, commented and said that they would really like to see um, The Legend of Dragoon, and I love this game. Uh, very nostalgic. I don't think I ever finished it. Um, I don't think I ever completed it. It's four discs. It goes really long. Um, so I'm going to do it probably for the first time. Uh, I will be probably using a walkthrough. I'm not going to do it in the first episode or whatever. But as we go along here, I want to make sure that I get everything that's important. So <clears throat> call it cheating. Call it whatever you want. Um, you know, I, I, I will need the help. Uh, any, anyone that has watched any of my stuff on my channel, I need all the help I can get. So, and if you guys have any tips or tricks or any ideas or whatever, uh, you can always comment down below and let me know because I read all of the comments. So, um, but welcome. So this is my third attempt at playing, at not playing, recording this. Uh, my first time I had like audio issues, uh, where the limiter on my microphone made me sound like I was sitting in a bathroom, which I didn't realize until the episode was done. And then the second time that I did it, I was almost at the very end of the episode, and then my disc was full uh, because I hadn't cleaned it up in a while. Like, you know, I have, like, access stuff of, like, videos and things that I try out and whatever, you know. And uh, it was full, and then... It didn't even, like, it recorded up until that point, which was 45 minutes into the episode, and I go an hour, and it was all gone. So, I'm like, great, I'm going to redo this again. So, uh, you will see a save file that, that uh, that's going to pop up, but we're going to do a new game here. So, Legend, The Legend of Dragoon is a competitor to, like, Final Fantasy VII, I guess. It's that same type of deal. You know, it's an, it's an uh, like, a JRPG uh, from the PlayStation era. A really good game, but also something that never got like a sequel or anything. Like there was never like a whole series made out of this, and I really think it should. It deserves it because um, it has turn-based combat, but it has like a there's like a unique unique aspect. And I guess we'll see it when we actually get into combat. There's a unique aspect to the game, and uh, yeah. So we will let's you know let's just get right into it. This is her. It is His Majesty, Emperor Dole's command, to take that girl into custody. Who 
is she? That is not your concern. And that's the end of that cutscene. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So, um, very mysterious. This village gets attacked by these soldiers and uh, burned down. And they're looking for a girl. And they use some magical pearl to identify her as something. And uh, they take her away. And the commander dude doesn't know. The hooded guy knows why, but the other guy doesn't. And we get to hear about the emperor. So, we're up in the mountains here. Um, and this is a very important character to the story. The Green Tusk Dragon, Firebrand. Is it Firebrand or Fearbrand? Fire. I'm gonna say Firebrand. Chapter one, Serdian War. All right, we're in Serdio, uh, I think is what it's called. The, the, the country of Serdio. <clears throat> it's very PlayStation 1-y, right? It's very, it's very much like those games. And here's our main character, Dart. Hmm, chance of war more likely. I hope it's just a rumor. And look who's riding by, the guys we just saw. Who are you? Are you a mercenary of Basil? Answer. What are you doing? Are you drawing a sword against us? What is... What the heck is this? We get like smacked around a little bit by the by the dragon. It looks more like a giant insect, doesn't it? It looks like a... like a... Uh, like a... Praying mantis kind of thing. I gotta do something or I'll be killed. So we kind of get um, dart in action here. The dragon is just absolutely devastating everything. What a monster! And we can just run. It's coming! Ah! Uh. And the mysterious lady helps us. Who are you? Shh! If you don't want to die. Thank you for saving me. What the heck was that? It's a dragon. Dragon? But it's strange. That village could have been easily destroyed without a dragon. That village? Are you talking about Celes? Then those soldiers were... There won't be anything left by now. Salus is my village. Oh my god. That man must be... No, there is no way. So, a lot of mysterious things are happening. Um, and so the village that was attacked, you guys will see, um, it's off in the distance here, um, was our village, Salus. Or Celeste? I don't know. I'm gonna call it Salus. Oh no, my god. Where is everybody? 
Um, so the cutscene happened at night, right? So this is the next morning and as the soldiers are leaving. So here we are, we get to control it. <clears throat> um, so this will be like when we're controlling when we're controlling our character, we'll always have that triangle over our head because that actually is an indicator of how close we are to a random encounter. Um, the more we walk around, of course, this is not going to happen right now because it's all like scripted and stuff. So we're not like in an open world. We'll see this happen later on in the episode. But uh, this, the triangle will turn yellow and then eventually red, and then we will get an encounter. So it's almost random encounters, but you can kind of tell when you're going to encounter someone, right? So it's kind of like a mix between like knowing and not knowing kind of thing. It's not super random, which I actually enjoy. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, being able to, like, it kind of, you know, prepares you, like, oh, a fight is coming, like, I know. Uh, there'll be some exceptions to that rule in a minute. He's tapping his foot. What is he, Sonic? Jesus. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here we are, Dart, uh, and we're going into saving our village. Um, and then when we can do something in the world, you know, when we walk around, we get that little exclamation point, and I can uh, press X, and they'll let me uh, do something. You didn't get enough killing? Hehehe, <laughs> it may be enough if I kill you. Uh, stop. Oh, a mercenary. Isn't it late for you to show up? Shut up, what are you doing here? Can't you see? We're gonna occupy this area and these worms were in our way. Occupy? Were you sent by the Imperial Army? Even if we were, it's none of your business. You're gonna die soon. And they attack, and we get our first taste of battle, friends. Ooh, so exciting. Not like this isn't the hundredth time that I've done this now, because I had to try out the game, make sure everything was working, and then I tried to record two times before, and... Man, I'm telling you, long road to get here. I hope this works. Let's hope third time's the charm. Alright, so we attack. So. Obviously, the menu is just like any other turn-based, you know, you can use items, guard, attack, whatever, right? Uh, we can't escape, of course, because it's all like scripted and stuff, so you have to do this. Now, the unique part is that each attack that you have has what they call additions, which means that once you attack, you get more chances to attack. And you have to, it's like, um, it's like quick time events in cutscenes or something in like newer games, where you have to press the X button at the right time, or actually it's the X or the circle button, and we'll, we'll talk about that um, as we go along, but uh, you have to press those buttons at the right time in order to make combos. Now our main attack that we have right now is double slash, which only gives us one, addi one addition, which means that I get to attack, and then if I hit the X at the right time, I will be able to attack again. So let's do it. Let's attack the gun left here. And the prompt comes up, and if I do it at the right time, I do a double slash. And just like in anime fashion, super, you know, Japanese over here with the um, anime influence, I call out the technique that I'm using, uh, if you do it correctly. If you don't, you don't call out anything, because you didn't do anything. Because uh, you suck. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, we get to do it again. Um, and it's weird, the prompt here, it's... If you hit it when you think it's actually going to be in the middle, it's actually too late. You have to do it like right before you think it's going to hit it. And I've gotten really good at this now because this, like I've done this so much now. The first chapter that I've gotten so much practice into, into this. <laughs> so, alright, so we defeat them. Ah! He runs away. Are, are you really Dart? Yes, it's me. Why is Sailor's under attack? War, Imperial Sandora attacked us. What about the truce? Yeah, suddenly. I didn't imagine they could come to such an outlying area. If only I'd come back sooner. There's something you have to do. Shana, rescue Shana. Only you can. What, what about Shana? Hey, wait! And he's gone. And a man died, and yeah, so he's like he's gone, and uh, already dead. So, 
All right. Well, while we're here, let's loot the dead people's house because that sounds like something anyone would do, right? <laughs> kind of messed up, but whatever. All right. Let's ignore all of that. That's the uh, second playthrough I did. <clears throat> all right. Anyways, so the green arrows show you where you can enter somewhere where you can go. Obviously, we only have like one route to go. Later on, you'll see a bunch of them pop up and they'll give me a lot of areas that I can go to. But it kind of indicates as to where you can walk, which is kind of nice. So we'll walk into this area here, further into the village, and see if we have any survivors. <clears throat> Plos! Plos? Plos? I don't know. I'll call him Plos. Ah. That voice. Is that you, Dart? This way. It's just a light it's just a light wound. I guess I was lucky. But look at this village. If only you came back earlier. It's about Shauna, too. What's wrong with Shauna? She was taken away. It seems Shauna was their primary purpose. Do you know where they went? I don't know. <clears throat> All right, and we get this guy over here. I'm gonna make him talk. Besting a private is no mere reason to be confident. Where did you take Shauna? Shauna? Don't worry about her. She must be receiving the courtesies of Helena Prison by now. Helena? Surprised, huh? We specifically invited only that woman. You must be kidding. You attacked the village only to kidnap Shauna? Exactly, but don't worry, I will let, let you follow them. Although, not to Helena. To hell. Doing a little play on words there. <coughs> mm, sorry, guys. <clears throat> I always get this cough when I do recording. I don't know why. But that's okay. It's probably nervousness or something. Who knows? Eh. Oh, he has never done this in the other... Oh, my God. How much damage was that? Oh, my God. He did not do that last time, guys. I will tell you right now, he did not do that. All right. Um, this is kind of scary now. All right. These guys die in one attack. <clears throat> oh, that's right. He runs away in fear. He's like, oh, my God, no. All right. We're going to the commander. So he looks like the guy in the... In the um, in the video. That's awfully cheeky of you. <clears throat> and he attacks us. He does like a double slash of his own. Uh, but yeah, he looks kind of like the commander that we saw in the video. Uh, he has that long cape. He has the same helmet. Um, and he was called the great commander in the video. Um, so this is obviously a different guy. Um, but yeah, so he heals himself. So they're kind of like showing what enemies can do. Right, they like can run away, they can use items, they can attack, they can boost themselves, like there's like different things. Uh, we're entering a different stance because we're about to die, but I think I'm gonna defeat him before that happens. That's it. And we did it. We did it! Alright, we get some healing potions, burnout, which is uh, what he used on us, that little flame thing that came out, that's the uh, same thing. So we leveled up, and we learn Volcano, new edition. So we'll look at that in a minute. Let's go through the dialogue here. Dart, you're going to go rescue Shauna, aren't you? And he nods his head. I won't stop you, but be careful. Your journey's not yet over, is it? No. You can count on us about Salus. Oh, <laughs> this is an old man. You can count on us about Salus. There should be enough people still who can, people who can still walk, move. Thank you. Sorry, I don't know <laughs> why I'm so bad at this right now. I've read this so many times now. I should know it by heart. When I settle everything, I'll be back. With Shauna. Alright, so this is our little village here. We're gonna get to walk around it. 
Um, uh, one thing that I'll tell you guys, so you can see uh, all these people here, right? We'll, we'll talk to some of them. Um, let's go into this house. So as you guys can see, there's like kids in this house. So let's walk into it. This is revenge for everyone. Revenge. Stop it. It's me. Is it Dart? This is Isha. Both of you have grown up. Dart, Sandora, Sandora, got everybody. I got them. Everything is okay now. And this is low. Everybody's dead. Not everybody. What? Not everyone was killed, so you have to help the people in the village. I will rescue Shauna. Indeed, do what you can. I'll get medical herbs. Me too. And they go around, like, helping the people. I don't know if this is, like, necessary to do, but I do that, like, every time. She has crazy hair, by the way, so. Um, but yeah, it, it's really weird, right? Because this is all we get to see of the village, okay? I, I will tell you right now. Once we exit that, we're out of the village. Um, honestly, the video made it sound like, look like it's this big village, right? There's that fountain that you see, it's kind of broken and stuff. Like, where is all that stuff? Uh, so it's kind of, I don't know, of course it's probably the limitation of the uh, console and stuff, but it's just kind of weird that they would make a video that looks uh, like it's this giant village and there's really not. Maybe we skipped through a bunch of stuff actually uh, going through, like going through here, you know? Coming out that way, maybe we skip a bunch of stuff, who knows? All right, anyways, um, these are all just random people. They just kind of say like, oh, oh my god, like, it was a nightmare. The fire set by Sandora scorched the entire village to the ground. I wonder how Shauna is doing. So they just like say random stuff, you know. Um, this guy is kind of important. Uh, we will talk to him. So let's talk to him. Master Tasman. You, you are Dart. You are safe. Uh, you are safe. <laughs> I taught you how to use a sword. I won't be killed so easily. But we were outnumbered. I couldn't stop them by myself. You already heard about Shauna? I am heading to Helena. Then have a match with me before you go. I want to see if you have the ability to rescue Shauna. I'm gonna say here, Master, don't be silly. Master, please, don't be silly. With that wound, you cannot take my sword. With that kind of confidence, I guess I can be assured. I'm going to go on a journey soon. If you think you need to practice more, ask me now. So, two things I will say here. Really strange that he's going on a journey. Like, his his village was just destroyed. Everyone was killed. And he's like, yeah, peace out. I'm leaving. So, it's kind of weird. I'm like, why are you going on a journey? Like, maybe he's going on a soul-searching soul journey or whatever. You have this lady in pink over or blue-pink over there. Uh, having a very, uh, very aggressive hand motion. Um... The other thing is, if you have a duel with him, it's just instructions on how the combat works. So I'm not going to do that. I will tell you guys as we go along. I will guys, I will show you guys how the combat works. Um, I The first time I recorded it, I actually did go ahead and do the tutorial. But that's because I didn't know much about it, right? So, um, first of all, we're level 2 now. So our HP has increased. Uh, I think it was like at 30. So it's at, at, at 60 now. So it increased by 30. And I think it increases by 30 like every time i'm not sure um but right here so these are additions so these are pretty much our when we use attacks this is what we use right and you can level them up as you use them as you guys can see on the right there i've used double slash a few times so it's seven out of 20 um but it's still level one but then it tells you in the second column there or in the third column actually uh, it tells you the additions so double slash so the additions means each additional attack that you do after the initial attack so i attack with double slash i attack once if i do the prompt correctly i attack another time now with volcano i actually get the regular attack and then i get three more chances to attack so i get four attacks now here's what's really interesting about the battle system, I think, is that the damage percent that you see in the um, in the in the one column there, it says for double slash it's 150, and for volcano it's 200. Now, I think now I, I'm not 100% certain, and I will have to look this up, but I think that the damage percent is actually sp split between each attack. 
So double slash having yes a lower damage percent, but it's a low it's a it's a lower risk because you only have to hit the prompt one time correctly in order to you know get the full attack out. Right? With volcano, I have to make it three times in order to get all four attacks in. So it's pretty much 200% damage, but split among four attacks, where Double Slash has 150, and it's split amongst two attacks. So that kind of gives you, like in Volcano, for example, every attack is like 50 points of damage. And if I get all four, that's 200% damage. Now in Double Slash, each attack is 75. So if I'm not that good at hitting the additions at the right time, the prompt, then I should probably go with a lower addition count rather than the higher, like depending on how the damage is, of course. So it, it's not always necessarily better to pick an, uh, a, an addition that has higher additions, um, like a skill that has higher additions, um, d you know, depending on how good you are. So I'm pretty decent at it right now, um, but there's going to be later on, there's going to be abilities that have like eight additions and it's just this like chain attack and if you like miss it one time it kind of messes up you know if i miss on the second time i only get one or two attacks right and it's like oh man like that's really devastating um so let me heal up i do have an item uh, i do have healing potions so let's do that uh 30 will be just fine and uh, yeah, so and he kind of teaches us about that, but I will uh, as we go along here guys I will show you guys and we don't have to necessarily do that. So um, Helena prison So we kind of get to see what's going on at Helena Which is this uh, prison island looking thing looks really cool. I love Helena You see a rat and it floats up the uh, thing because it doesn't even change the perspective there. <coughs> Be good in there. Sorry, I was taking a sip of water. <coughs> <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. Alright, so that was Shauna being thrown into prison. And we get the hooded guy from, I think this is the hooded guy from the video, the initial video when I started the new game that was talking to the great commander. I think that's who that little guy is. And then the big guy is Frugal, who is the head warden of the prison. So Frugal says, who the heck is the girl? You can tell me. The world's future rests on her. That's it? This is enough information for you. Those of you who do not grasp the value should just do what the order says. I'm not taking your orders. Only His Majesty Dole can order me. Anyway, you must remember this. If you make a scratch on her, it'll cost more than your head. This is a message from Emperor Dole. Ah! He's pissed off. Knocks the guy over. Ah! Pretty much kills his own uh, subordinate. And the other guy's like in shock down below. He's like, oh my god, what the heck's going on? Um, but yeah, so Frugal um, being told that he doesn't need to know more. So this is the world map, guys. Uh, we can kind of like pan around here. We can kind of see uh, just a little bit. Just change the perspective a little bit. Um, so you kind of walk around. You can get random encounters just walking around. So if you ever need to level or anything, if you guys are playing this, if, you know, this... Yeah, I, I know a lot of people that like watch playthroughs and stuff and then they like get the itch of playing the game your, themselves, right? And I get that myself all the time. So I'm sure there's going to be people that watch this and they're going to be like, man, I really want to play that game. So um, if you're playing this, you can get random encounters uh, in the overworld. So you don't even have to like go into different areas to like level. So if you're stuck anywhere or whatever, you can just walk around the world map and uh, level up. So let's actually look at the world map here. Um, so there we go. Uh, so this is south of Sertio, okay, and we see Helena Prison is to the south there, to the, like, very tip over, over there or whatever. Um, and we've pan out more. This is the world map, right? Um, so we're in this, like, uh, I I'm thinking, like, Sertio is, like, the continent or whatever uh, that we're on. And I'm thinking, like, the different colors were our countries, 
Uh, but I'm not 100% certain because I can't read any of this. It would be really cool to have like a high-res map of uh, uh, with the with the actual writing so you can read or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the world map. Um, and here we are. And we're going to move into... So that's obviously Sales. And on the right there is the path from the... Um, you can look from the mountains that we... Apparently... And that's something um, that I talked about when I recorded earlier and I forgot about it. Um, mentioning it now. But apparently Dart was on a journey... And uh, he was just coming back from this journey, apparently, back to the uh, village. And the attack happened right before he got back to the village. He had been gone for a while. We don't know why. I think we will find out why. It's been a long time since I played this game, guys. Um, but yeah, so he it's his hometown where he grew up in, but he was on a journey and he was gone for a while and he's now back. You know, he talked, he tells the kids that he's they've grown. Uh, they've grown up or whatever and which indicates obviously that he hasn't seen him in a while so um and then i will say that uh, as we go into the forest area here we're going into the forest um helena prison is something we're going to come back to multiple times actually so uh get used to helena prison i think uh, we'll visit there a few times um, as we get there you know before we get there i kind of spoil it but uh super tranquil little forest uh, we got these little um rabbit creatures with the big daddy rabbit over here i'm not, not sure what that is so, indicator over my head just turned yellow, which means that we're getting closer to a random encounter. The bunny people, uh, or whatever, the, the, the mice, or whatever they're supposed to be, I, I don't know, um, following me. So, uh, but, uh, we're turning red, we're about to get an encounter, but let's talk to this guy first before that happens. I lost the squirrel, oh well. In these troubled times, you have to protect yourself. What do you think? Wanna buy something? Sure, let's buy something. Um, let's buy a healing. So, um, standard items here. Healing potion obviously heals you for half the value, uh, uh, uh value of HP, maximum HP. Um, nullifies poison, uh, uh, and stunning and arm blocking, body purifier. So that's like an antidote type of thing. Burnout is like a single target attack. Uh, oh, this is multi. So it has, I think there's like, a. There's a way to increase the damage on it. Uh, again, it's like uh, it's like quick time events. I think you can do stuff. I think I have to like rotate the stick or something. I'm I'm not 100 percent certain. We'll see we'll see how it works out for me. And then charm potion is kind of like a um, like a repel in um, in Pokemon. I'm gonna buy a couple of these um, because weirdly enough, when you go to a save point, the, it doesn't heal you up. So you have to still like heal yourself. So it's kind of uh, crappy, but whatever. Uh, don't you want to know how to use the items? I can teach you. I changed his voice. No thanks. We know how to use them. No thanks. I see. Come again and I'll teach you how to use the items. I changed his voice. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, didn't, I don't remember what his voice was. I'm not a voice actor. I don't know how to remember the voices that I give people. So I don't know how people do that. How, how do voice actors do that? I have no idea. Uh, random encounter. Ooh, this one is really funny. So we get this mouse looking thing uh, with the big ears. I think those are like the things that are following that are running around there. It's a berserk mouse. So maybe the other ones aren't berserk. It's just a regular mouse. Um, and then we get the assassin cock. Obviously very suggestive, but you know, it's really funny because this goes back to like the early translation stuff, right? Uh, this is the era of, um, this is when, first of all, video games be started becoming popular. And this is also the era of when a lot of the like importing games from other regions started happening right and uh i mean they've been happening since like the early like 8-bit era right it's like you know zelda and all those things that are off like you know all the nintendo stuff it's all from japan right but um this is when it like became like more globally like you know but they weren't quite there with the translations yet it wasn't it wasn't that huge yet so um some things are a little bit weird in the text and stuff, so um, I would have I wouldn't have called it that, but <laughs> whatever. Anyways, let's kill it. Hopefully, anyways. Yes. All right, and this is the first time seeing volcano, so I did every every prompt correctly, and I do four damage, which kind of seems crappy, but it'll go up here. Uh, so he attacks us. So as you guys can see, I got three editions on there, so I have to get the prompt right three times. But there's also a little twist to it, and I'll see if that pops up at all. Nope, not in this battle. <clears throat> that's okay. Um, there is a part, and that's something that Tasman would have explained to us, 
Um, the in the combat, um, what will happen in the the prompt is blue, right? The 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 square that you have to like uh, hit X at the right time is is blue. Well, sometimes the enemy wants to counterattack. And that turns the prompt orange, and I actually have to press circle at the right time. So it's like quick time events, where you have to like make sure that you press the correct button at the correct time, kind of thing. Um, so really interactive and really cool, like a really cool twist on the like. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, a really cool twist on the like turn-based combat kind of thing, right? So I really enjoy that. Obviously, we can see the uh, ocean from here. And Helena Prison is somewhere to the south of uh, where the um, where the water is there. Somewhere around that. Oh, we're about to get another encounter. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, this is like a lost uh, lost woods kind of thing where you have to like go the correct way. I'm not sure. It's not hard to do really. Oh, what's going on there? That was weird. Like lagged for a little bit. I have not had that encounter yet. All right, we get a Trent. Uh, that's a trend and an assassin cock. So, ooh, and the and the cock gets the attack first. No, well, that sounds like a good night to me. I'm just kidding. It's horrible. I'm done now. All right. Anyways, uh, let's kill him first. He does more damage. Okay, he did not counterattack. Uh, you will see the prompt. I'm I'm waiting for that prompt to happen where they will counterattack. But, oh, he's really slow apparently. Oh, there it is. So I have to hit circle at the right time. If I do it, I block his counterattack. If I don't do it, I think he will counterattack. I honestly have not. Oh, he's casting a spell. He summons these rocks that shoot at us and then run right into us. Kind of weird, right? Kind of strange. Um, so the icon that's hovering over him kind of indicates where his health is at. So you don't exactly know where the health is at, but you can tell by that little icon right so he's yellow which means he's like probably halfway down with his health or whatever um so blue means they're full yellow means they're getting hurt and then red of course means they're like close to death so you have an indicator on your enemy's health i don't know what the color means uh on the name uh because assassin cock was green trend was um the trend is yellow and then we have the or like a almost like an orange I mean it's like a yellow orange whatever um, and then we have the um, the mouse the berserk mouse was blue I believe I don't know if there's any I, I don't I'm not sure yet I will have to um, pay attention to that and see if that like has some kind of indication on maybe how fast they are like maybe maybe um, blue is like a neutral and then like Yellow is more like a magical. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what those are for. Uh, I get nine experience, which is actually going to level me up to level three. Uh, I do not learn any other additions right now, so that's okay. Volcano is pretty good, so we'll keep with that. Uh, this is strange because you guys can see there's like four. Oh no, you know what? This is. Never mind. Never mind. I will just shut up about what I was going to say. Because I was going to say, there's only three paths to take, but there's not. So, there's actually four. So, uh, yeah, when we come out this way, I think I have to go up here. Oh, that's incorrect. I do want to get that item. Whatever it is. I'm going to get an encounter here. I don't know why the screen has to flash every time. It's, it's, it's an interesting choice on the developer's side to do that. But whatever. <clears throat> All right. Who do we get? Ooh, we get a goblin this time. A goblin and an assassin cock. And uh, goblins are red on the icons. See that? I don't know what that means. I will have to, like, maybe it's their weakness? Or or maybe it's their element. Uh, he would be fire and he'd be wind, maybe? I think that makes more sense. And then the trend would be... Um, maybe, like, earth or something? And then the mouse would be water? But it's blue. Maybe that's neutral? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to look into that um, as we go along with the game. I'm kind of learning this as well. It's been probably a good 10, 10 years since I've played this game uh, the last time. And like I said, I've never finished this game. So it's not like I'm like, I know everything. I, I don't know anything. 
I know the like basic premise of um, the game, but other than that, I'm, I'm like, I have no idea. I'm a big fan of this game. Uh, I'm really sad it never got like like a sequel or anything, or even like a spiritual spiritual successor or something like that. You know, I mean, it's like you could say any JRPG is that, but it'd be kind of cool because we're gonna get a lot more like <clears throat> different things we can do in a minute, or not in a minute, but. Uh, eventually we'll get a lot more stuff we can do in combat and stuff and it's really cool because it's like super anime inspired uh but i, I love that they they did a really nice job of integrating it i think so especially for the playstation era so we go down here <clears throat> and we're the stock i have no time to deal with you it reminds me wait this way this way Eek! Cut it out! Leave Shauna alone! Leave Shauna alone. Hang in there. I'll get you out from there. So he's remembering his childhood with uh, Shauna. <clears throat> so. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my throat. Like, this happens every time I, like, record. I didn't have that issue when I was recording before, but that's okay. Like the other episodes when I tried it, but... Um, it's also very warm in here. It's probably not helping. All right, Berserk Mouse, Mice, Mouses. Ow. They look kind of cute, but the fleshy ears is, kind of throws me off a little bit. And they look more like rats. With that big tail like that, they look more like rats. Oh, oh. See, so it keeps you on your toes when you do it. It's super interactive, and I think it's a great way to do a turn-based combat. Um, you know, Grandia went the other route, where, like, positioning in your turn-based combat was important, right? And then Legend of Dragoon did it the other way, where it's, like, the actual attacks that you do, those are interactive, rather than, um, this road leads to the parry. <clears throat> Helena is not this way. So there's a road there. You can't really see it, but that leads to the parry. And I guess we'll go there at some other point. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> World map. So we're through the forest. I want to go down. You guys can see there's a ton of stuff that we're going to get to see on that, like just this part. Right? There's that tree up there. There's that like weird monument, the mountainous stuff, uh, whatever is on the left there. But we're moving to Helena. We have a random encounter before that happens. Uh, yeah, so this is the random encounters in the overworld here, which is actually in a foresty area. It's kind of cool. Uh, this battle background. It reminds me a lot of uh, Digimon World 2003, where the battle backgrounds like really change um, once you go into like the forest or like the prairie or something. It's like really cool. I love that. Um, <clears throat> great game. Apparently, Sony has recently, uh, or Bandai, I'm sorry, not Sony. Uh, Bandai has recently expressed um, interest in remaking or remastering the original like trilogy of the Digimon World series, which would be amazing. I, I would be all about that. And I would probably stream um, Digimon World 2003. I did a playthrough of the original game, but uh, I would just probably do it on stream, maybe, and like played with you guys. Um, <clears throat> Speaking of, I'll do a little interjection here where we're getting closer to the end, but um, the I, I do stream three days a week. If you guys are interested, I stream every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, uh, 9.30 Eastern Span Standard Time. I do different games. Right now, we're doing Pokemon Unite on Sundays. Uh, I'm doing a Guild Wars Challenge run on uh, Guild Wars 2 Challenge run on Mondays and Tuesdays right now, right now anyways, I'm doing uh, Dark Souls. Um, and that'll change once we have uh, End of Dragons for Guild Wars 2 come out, uh, once we have uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus come out, like that'll be on Sundays, um, and then we'll have uh, Elden Ring on Mondays, uh, so we'll kind of swap everything up, so if you guys are interested, come and join me on that, <laughs> um, and I'd love to have you, so. Alright, we go to Helena Prison. So we get this big bird, big bird like it looks like a dinosaur. I don't know if that'll become important at all. I don't know why they show this at all, like flying by. I, th I think it does become important later, so I, I don't know. Uh, but it kind of disappears. Well, how can I sneak in?
We have a carriage come by. And obviously we see opportunity sneaking on board the, um, the carriage there. So we'll follow the carriage to the gate. I see. Good meat and fish. Sir Frugal will be happy. You bought a lot recently. Is there something going on? It's not the business of a merchant like you. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll inspect the load. So I get prompted and I have to press X to actually hide behind uh, the the uh, cart, the wagon or whatever. So he doesn't see me. Alright, and it looks like it checks out. So, it seems to be okay. Lower the bridge. Now. And we jump on board and we get in. And that's that's it. We're inside Helena Prison. Fairly easy. So, something that I will tell you guys that's really funny is... If you actually miss the prompt of not hiding correctly, they will find you. And then they kind of like shoo you away. And you have to come back and redo it pretty much. But it's really funny because they will just repeat the dialogue. So then um, the guard will be like, well, that that was unexpected. Uh, don't, don't do that again or something like that to the merchant. And then the um, the merchant will be like, oh, you bought a lot. Uh, is there, uh, You bought a lot. Is there something going on? And then the guard is like, don't ask me the same question again. And then the merchant will be like, oh, sorry, sorry, okay, like he did before. And uh, and then the guard will be like, okay, I'm going to inspect your goods. And I'm like, why did they repeat it? Like, it's so weird. I made it. Um, so, it's, <laughs> so it's just like really weird, right? Um, so as you guys can see, the indicator over my head is now permanently red. Because in, legend, in the Legend of Dragoon, um, we don't just get random encounters, but we also get... Like in Grandia, for example, you know, speaking of Grandia, um, you get non-random encounters. You actually get enemies that walk around, and once they run into you, that's when you fight them. So, um, that is exactly what happens here. So, in this prison, we're permanently on Red Alert, pretty much, because of uh, uh, guards being everywhere. So, if we see a guard, we can fight it. Uh, if we want to, or we can uh, just try to avoid them. Um, now, the interesting thing is if, if let's say, there's a guard here, or he comes out, and I run away from him, and he follows me, and I open this chest, uh, I will stop, and my dialogue box will, like, you know, they'll be like, oh, you got this item, right? I'm standing here, or whatever. They will keep moving. It doesn't stop the guard, so they will keep coming until they hit me. And so I, I tried to do that earlier, where I was just like, oh, I'm going to open this box. It's going to stop them, and it didn't. They were like, they kept on running at me, and I was like, oh, it happens in real in real time, so that's crazy. So there's just an item back here. <clears throat> and then we can't really go anywhere else. We can go up there, but there's no way to go up. Um, and we can't go the way we, we came from, because the card kind of is blocking our path there, with the weird bull with the six horns, eight thorn horns, uh, six horns. Um, that one on the right looks kind of strange. Um, so we go over here where the merchant is. Who, who are you? I'm discovered. This way. And he brings a guard. So we fight the guard. The merchant gets gets a guard. Uh, gets a guard. <clears throat> and we fight him. Alright, let's do it. Oh, he gets to attack. He's quicker. Alright, these are the guards. We're kind of low on health here. But we did level up, so we actually have 90 health now. Um, these are the Helena Warden. Um, they look, you know, they look funky, right? Because they're supposed to be... Oh, I missed it. So that's what happens when you miss the problem. I was too late on it. Like I said, you're supposed to hit it, like, a little bit early. Um, and I didn't do that, so... But they look kind of funky, right? Because they're supposed to be in, like, this leather armor or whatever. But because it's so pixelated, it just looks really weird. So this is, again, a single, like, an attack. It does seven damage every time. Uh, and we're about to die, so let's not do that, please. Ooh, he's trying to counterattack. This is a strong guard. Goodbye, volcano. <clears throat> All right. 
Let's kind of skip, skip through here. <clears throat> 71 out of 102. So kind of getting there. Uh, when you level up, it's kind of like a cumulative... A, I, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> Um, but it like adds on, right? So it's like after 102, it'll probably be like 150 or something, right? And it just like keeps going instead of like resetting back to one. Um, help me, I'm just a delivery man. Be quiet, I'm not going to kill you. Oh, okay, I won't make a noise. So you can talk to him and he says, I told you I won't make a noise. I'll be unloading until you finish your business. Oh, hey, if you, hey you, if you're short on items, just tell me and I'll sell those too. So you can actually buy items from him. <clears throat> so it kind of gives you the opportunity to not die. Because, there, again, there's no other way to heal um, other than using these. I, at least that I know of right now. I'm sure, like, sleeping and inns and stuff we'll, we'll be able to do later on. So, All right, let's save this and let's continue. Um, so we get to sneak around the prison. So again, green arrow there shows me I can go there. Um, and we have guards running around. So we have this guard right here. Uh, I'm going to kind of try to avoid as many as I can because we've seen plenty of the combat and I'm trying to get through this. So, um, oh, this way, actually we can't go like you can go up here. There's a reason you can go, uh, do this or whatever. You actually can't continue. I don't know why I went this way. I, I already knew this. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I'm gonna just run here. Oh, he didn't see me, which is kind of weird. Uh, we have a guard down here. Uh, the next guard I will have to fight because he's literally right in the way where I need to go and he doesn't move this guy right here. So let's fight him. I don't know why the other two didn't see me. I was like blatantly in their line of sight. Like I was just right there <laughs> and they didn't see me. And so... All right, he attacks me, does five damage. All right, let's not mess up. Ooh, he's trying to counterattack. Let's not mess up. And there we go, nice. All right, I just really need to get stronger because this is, oh God, he's using that item. Does seven damage. We'll see those, we'll see a lot more like special moves and stuff like that. So he's in yellow health. So I think this will take care of him. Yep, that's it. Alright. Finish that guy off. Get six experience, nine gold. Gold doesn't really matter right now, I don't think, uh, too much. Uh, but I'm sure for, like, equipment and stuff it matters. So. Alright, we can't go down there. I, d I don't know yet really how to get to those areas. Uh, but we're gonna go up here. ba -da. So this is really funny because, and I talked about this in my other recordings as well. So this area right here reminds me of two different places. Uh, first of all, Donkey Kong Country, right? There's that area where you can like go through the forest area or whatever, and they have the like buildings and the trees, and they're made out of like wood or whatever. Uh, but this is also very like Endor from Star Wars, like where the Ewoks live on the like wooden structures in the in this in the in the like uh, in the forest. I'm trying to like attack him and it won't attack him. I don't know why. That was so weird. I was like trying to walk right at him and it wouldn't. It was stopping right before him. Weird. Uh, so we get a different battle background too. This is this is different than the one we were just in. I just noticed that. I didn't notice that before. That's a really interesting. So they have two different battle backgrounds here for Helena Prison. Which is actually pretty cool. Um, I always enjoyed when games do that where it's like a different, uh, different looking like background for the area that you're in uh, when you're battling. It just makes it very atmospheric and it really makes you feel like you're moving around in the world. Um, so I feel like I'm definitely in a different different area of the prison now and it doesn't all look the same. This is a little bit darker and there's like these weird like lights coming out of the, uh, the walkways there. I'm not sure what that's about, but you know, it's just for um, to make it pretty or whatever so um as you guys can see i only fought one guy and the other guy disappeared as well i think that's how that works um i i think that is um that like if you defeat one enemy on the screen they all disappear or something i'm not sure um so we take the little elevator up here 
Uh, I'm gonna go into that area down below in a minute. Or probably next episode, actually. I'm gonna go next episode. Uh, I do want to continue. Move quicker. Because I do want to get through this and I don't want to go over an hour. Move quicker. Arr. <laughs> you have such bad luck. You will regret not being killed on the battlefield. What do you mean? You, you really believe you can live comfortably in the jail? The head warden Frugal will feed you to the monster. Oops. Beat us to the monster? I won't let you humiliate us anymore. Oh, feisty feisty. That's the worst kind of pal, but the best kind of feed. If you want to kill me, kill me now. I won't let him. Let me get this guy with a spear. Sir Lavitz! You, you bastard, you broke out of the jail. Silly guy. You think you can escape from here alone? I'll take care of this, survive, and go back to Indel's castle alive. Tell King Albert. And they make a run for it? I won't let you. Woo and they both get knocked down. Pretty much killed. Uh, as I, I think they, they, they're like gone forever. So um, I took care of those guys. <clears throat> so then Sir Lavitz fights these guys. Look at him. He's such a master. Is this civil war? I'm guessing he means like infighting rather than civil war. I, I, he, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird thing to ask. You, who are you? Are you dog of... Basil too? It's weird saying calling it Basil, but Look at him, he stabbed him right in the head and they kind of like use the area to like Not show that who are you and he attacks us. I'm dart. I'm not your enemy. I'm Lavid Slambert. I'm the head of the first knighthood of the kingdom of Basil Well, it seems we don't have time for introductions. No, we don't. And we get to attack. We get our first party, or second party member. Our first additional party member. <laughs> uh, Lavitz, Sir Lavitz. <clears throat> so he is the, um, he's the green ranger to our red ranger, obviously, as you guys can see. Uh, all right, so we attack regularly with uh, Dart here. We're using Volcano. Yeah. Bash me right in the head. All right, so Lavitz, uh, using a spear. He's a spear guy. Um, I'm gonna attack the other warden. I'm gonna try to get rid of him, and we get another problem. Hiya. Harpoon is his uh, addition. I guess they call him addition. It's just weird. Um, I'd like to call it skill, but whatever. You know. I guess they didn't want to copy other other RPGs, so. Um. All right. Yeah. So now we have two people in our team, which is really, really cool. I almost missed that. I don't know if you guys saw that. I almost missed that last attack there. Oh no! Please don't die, Dart. I do have an. Uh, do I have an angel's prayer? I. I don't know if I do. Please don't die. Oh my god! One of those attack, and I'm dead. Yeah. Harpoon. All right. He does even more damage. So. Oh boy. Dart, you're at the end of your life here. Let's let's not try to. Die. I should have. So when you defend, you also heal a little bit in this game, and I should have done that. <clears throat> Honestly. Oh, we made it. Yeah, do it, Lavitz. Yes. Yeah, look at him. Badass guy in green, green armor. Or regular armor with green like accents or whatever. Um, so I will tell you guys the XP is shared amongst the characters. So if I get 100 XP, each of these guys would have gotten 50. I don't know how much it was, but um, that's how it kind of works. So I will carry out your wish. You said Dart? I cannot imagine there's somebody who, who intentionally comes to Helena. What are you up to? I'm here to rescue someone important to me. Do you know anything about her? Her name is Shana. I'm sorry, but I'll look elsewhere. Wait, I'll go with you. I thought you had to go back to the castle as soon as possible. She's important, this girl you're looking for. 
It's my problem. It was my fault. I don't know what brought you here, but Helena is not that easy to go through alone. That goes for me too. But I can break out of out of here. I can bring break out from here with together with you, of course, with the girl. Wow, that took me way too much to, uh, effort there to figure that out. How come you trust me? We've just met. The raid you made was quite impressive. I trusted you to guard my back. That's why. I, that's the way I think. All right, let's go together. So because we. Um, covered his back. Oh my god! Woo! Run away! I'm trying to get to the safe point here. Back to it anyways. Oh shit. Alright, let's make a run for it. <laughs> this is gonna be the end of the episode, guys. I appreciate everyone- Oh, well, I gotta do at least this fight. I'm trying to get back to the safe point. Because I'm doing an hour episodes. Uh, this one is a little bit longer, which, you know, whatever. It's, you know, right at an hour. Um, um, I'll have some that are maybe in the 50, uh, 50 minutes rather than the one hour. Oh god. Um, okay. Don't die, please. I hope he doesn't die. Oh, no, I should be able to defeat him. Oh, he's trying to counterattack. Which is not good. Not good. I won't let you. Damn. All right, well, I appreciate it, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you guys are ready for some fun times with the series. Uh, I'm, this is going to probably be a long series, I'm guessing, because it has four discs, right? Like, Grandia had, like, two discs, and that was already, like, in the 50s, even with one-hour episodes and stuff. Um, but this this is a little bit different, right? So uh, it's even longer, I think, and there's a lot of story and a lot of characters. Look at him. Look at him. He's in our team now. Very handsome knight man over here. Uh, Lavitz, uh, level three. So we're both level three, um, but, uh, and we're both pretty close to leveling. Lavitz is a little bit behind. He takes a little bit more to level up. Um, his additions, uh, I, I don't, uh, he just has harpoon, um, which actually is like way less damage than the other, uh, than the ones that uh, Dart has. And he only gets five as well. Um, Dart has seven that you can learn, so. Um, but yeah, that's that's gonna be it. Did I already save? No, I did not. <clears throat> that's gonna be it. Uh, again, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow the channel. I would really appreciate this, uh, if you guys can subscribe. There's a bunch of stuff on the channel now. I just did a review of everything that I did for the whole year. Um, so that is up on the channel if you guys want to watch that. And also a preview of what's to come for the channel. So you guys can kind of see what to expect. Like I said, I did do stream every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. Um, I do have a Twitter. Um, all my social stuff is down below in the description, as well as the Discord. Uh, I am on Discord actively. Uh, we do have a Discord server as well that I'm trying to grow as well with the uh, channel and stuff. And uh, yeah, and if you guys are interested in any of that, most of that information is down below. If there's any type of questions you have or a request or anything, uh, the best way to reach me is either comment on this video or um, uh, uh, add me on Discord. And you can just message me on Discord or whatever. Or, you know, you don't have to add me if you want to go on the server, uh, our Discord server and uh, write a message out there. You can do that as well. So, uh, but that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.